Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, we are going to start Sunday school with a song. One of Sister Demis Negro Spiritual. Jesus be a fix. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> will sing along. Go ahead. Um, Jesus be a fix all around me every day. And oh, Jesus, I want you to protect me as I travel on my way. I know you can, yes, Lord. I know you will, yes, Lord. You fight my battles, if I can still. Come on, Jesus, be a fence all around me. Every, 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 every day. And we need Jesus to be a fix all around us every day. Yes, yes, yes. I know I do anyway. <laughs> all right, our scripture will be coming from Luke 10, verses 38 through 42. Luke 10, verses 38 through 42. Have it. Give me a nice hearty amen. 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 Alright. And now it came to pass that they went, <clears throat> that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Mary, named Martha, received him into her house. And she said, and she had a sister called Mary, which called, which also sat at Jesus's Jesus's feet and heard and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving, much serving, and came to him and said, "Lord, doest thou not care that my sister has hath left me to serve alone?" But her, but her, therefore, um, bid her, therefore, that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and and Mary has chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Amen. Amen. Alright, good morning. Our um our, our we will have prayer by Sister King, sir. Lord, we come to you humble and all the the present Thanksgiving and our heart and our mind, Lord. Thanking you for your grace, your mercy, and your favor. Thanking you for your blessings and asking that you continue to keep and bless us. Yes. Lord, we repent and ask for forgiveness of any sins that we have committed. Yes. Lord, we just thank you on today for letting us see another day. Yes. We lift our past up to you and his wife, Sister Dira. We lift uh, St. Simon's family up to you, Lord, and yes, we're just Lord. thanking you today. We know that you can do all things for oh, them. Yes. Lord, we have pray for the sick and the shut-in. We pray yes. for the people that would like to be here but can't. We pray for everybody that's on that way, Lord. And we just thank you. We pray for the bereaved families, Lord. Yes. Be offensive yes. on them. Let them know that you are a comforter, Lord, that you will not forsake them. And Lord, we're just giving you thanks today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So thus far, we have had some awesome teaching by Sister Demons. Amen. Amen. It has been really wonderful, very enlightening. And today we will be studying uh, um, on March 17th, 2024. We will be studying the rising of Lazarus. Yes. Our lesson text comes from John 11, 38 through 44. Our related scriptures come from John 11, 1 through 37, Luke 10, which we just read, 38 through 42, and John 12, 1 through 11. The time is AD 30, the place is Bethany, 
and our golden text is when he thus had spoken he cried with a loud voice Lazarus come forth and he and he that was dead came forth bound hand and foot with graven cloth John 11 43 through 44 and our teacher today is the most awesomest <laughs> That's not a word. <laughs> a really awesome teacher that I love to hear every time she teaches is our own sister Wimper. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How we all feel this morning. Good. Yes. Amen. As Sister Tanya stated, our lesson scriptures is from John 11, 38 to 44, AD 30, and the place is Bethany. We take a look at our foregoing scriptures in John 11, 25, 26. We'll see that Lord Jesus said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Ooh. Verse 26 says, And so whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believeth thou this? Wow, what a statement. What a question. John 1.14 states, And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father, mm -hmm. full of grace and truth. Yes. The glory of God could well be taken as the theme of the entire Bible. This theme is so big and so broad that it came to be overlooked, and all the details of the many stories in which it is worked out, which is which it is worked out. The lesson is a perfect, perfect opportunity to draw attention to that broad perspective and show that the raising of Lazarus is a perfect illustration of the Bible's main theme. Amen. Well, now, let's look at the portion of scriptures for our lesson this morning. Today's aim, facts, to see how Jesus is glorified through the raising of Lazarus from the dead. Principle, to understand that the glory of God is central in every aspect of life, even in the most difficult trials. Application, to trust God is working in every situation for his glory and our good. Amen. Amen. Let's take a moment to look at a few verses before we touch on today's lesson. And what we're looking at is John 11, 33. We see in this verse that Jesus groaned in the spirit and was troubled, meaning Jesus was experiencing mental anguish. John 11, 35, Jesus wept. The verb wept is used only in the New Testament, meaning shedding of tears. A deep grief. You can yes. see that in Hebrews 5, 7. Although Jesus was God, he was also man. John recognizes and records this expression of a very human emotion. It, affirm, it affirms the full, full humanity of Christ as well as his deity. John 11, 37. We see in this verse that some of them started questioning Jesus' ability. Now on to the text. Will someone please read John 11, 38, 39, and 40? Okay. It says, Jesus, John 11, 38, Jesus therefore being grown himself coming to the grave. It was a cave and a stone laid upon him. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time 
he sinketh, for he hath been dead four days. 40. Jesus said unto her, Say I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Amen. Amen. The grave approached. His delay. Jesus' delay, however, did not mean he was indifferent to Lazarus' need. For as he approached the grave, he was groaning in himself. The word groaning means deeply moved. Mm -hmm. The verb describing Jesus' reaction when he came to Lazarus' tomb speak more of indignation than of sorrow. It was not anger against the mourners present. It was anger against Satan and the terrible tragedy he had brought upon the human race through sin. This was, of course, was combined with genuine sorrow for Jesus' greed with the sisters and their friends and wept. We saw that in 11. 35. Any statements? Anyone want to say something? Okay. Um, Jesus had a love for Lazarus and at this point he could have got there on time. He could have spoke a word from where he was at and Lazarus would have been okay. But sometime God has us to go through things so we can understand what he's teaching us or telling us. And this was one of those times. Amen. Amen. From this verse, we see that Lazarus was buried in a cave and the stone laid upon it. This shows that Lazarus and his sisters or the family had a certain amount of wealth for him to be laid in a cave. Mm -hmm. Example of wealth. The cave, but you know people didn't uh, go in them caves if they didn't have money to dig it out. <laughs> <laughs> the mourners, which sometimes they was paid to come to the funerals yeah. and mourn. Mm -hmm. Remember when Jesus put them out with Jairus was right? Mm -hmm. Okay, they was paid. He didn't want to hear all that. Mm -hmm. And Mary's perfume that she used to anoint Jesus, which you know that was not cheap perfume. Exactly. So they had to have money. Mm -hmm. Take away the stone. It is worthy of note that Jesus did not remove the stone himself. He assigned, assigned to the people around him a task that they could do and reserved for himself only what he could do. In his first miracle, in chapter 2 verse 1 through 11 he had done something similar though he could have created wine out of nothing he had instructed the servants to fill the jars with water which he then turned into wine likewise in this instance though jesus had the power to simply command as was stated to deacon king the stone to move he let others do that part preparing the way for him to do what he could do by raising Lazarus. Amen. Are we happy that he give us assignments to do and we follow through with it because <coughs> of our belief in him? Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Any, anyone have anything to say behind that? Okay, we're going to go ahead. I just, uh, just want to read a little note in the book here where it says, um, it is worthy of note that Jesus did not remove the stone himself. He assigned to the people around him a task that they could do and reserve for himself only what they could not do. Amen. And so, you know, we, we have to pay a part. We yes. have to do something. Yes. Yeah, we just can't say, you know, Jesus do this and Lord do this and, you know, do this, that and the other. We, we, we have to do something. Amen. We have to do what we can do. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I want to say that we always talk about the time he was late and Mark on them thought he was late, but Jesus was always on time at the right time. Mm -hmm. So that was the right time for him to come, yep. not when we think he should come. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Okay. 
okay. When she said it's, he's thinking, the, our thoughts does not hinder his ability, as she, as uh, my sister here stated, because he could have did it any time that he wanted to do it. It didn't hinder his ability. Martha thought of removing the stone from the grave was utterly repulsive. So she said by this time he stinks. Whatever Jesus had in mind, she wanted to spare the family the indignity of disturbing his decomposing body. The smell of death could only add to the horrors, horrors of their situation under normal circumstances. She would have been right with the warm climate would have decayed the body. Now I'm going to read something from Mr. Langford. It's a commentary of what he's saying about the body and the effects of the body. <clears throat> Jewish mysticism teaches that a deceased person's spirit remains around the body for up to three days mm -hmm. after death mm -hmm. before departing. It is well known in Israel 2,000 years ago that someone deceased could come back to life during this, his, during this three day period, mm -hmm. but not afterwards. On the fourth day, the spirit left the body and went to Hades, scrolls, and there was no hope for life without a miracle. Also by the, also by the fourth day in Israel's hot climate, Advanced decay would be destroying the body and the stench would have been overwhelming. When Jesus called Lazarus to life from the dead and healed his rotting corpse, the people knew that he was the true Messiah, mm -hmm. performing genuine miracles as the prophets had foretold. Mm -hmm. Now that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, give me goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> What a what a mighty God Jesus we serve. Mm -hmm. yes. He will have you do exactly what He will want you to do. Yeah. And you won't hesitate because of your faith mm -hmm. and your love for Him. Mm -hmm. We're going to always do what He asks us to do yeah. because we love Him and have faith in Him. Mm -hmm. Everybody can attest to that, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Sister so Teacher. Yes, sir. This shows us what we think is impossible is very possible. Very possible. With God. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, Martha's faith. Martha already expressed faith that God would answer any request that Jesus made. And did Jesus assure her that her brother would rise again? Mm hmm. Now, she thinking, well, that got to be at the resurrection mm -hmm. of all at the end, end. Ain't no end, end when you in Christ. <laughs> Ain't no end, end. All right, now. Okay. But, and we said yes, indeed, but even her faith struggled to reach the conclusion that the resurrection was imminent for last year. Mm -hmm. It was right there, right now, right now, yeah. right here. Yeah. Imminent. Mm -hmm. And like you say, ain't nothing he cannot do. Amen. Nothing he cannot do. Amen. He is faithful to us. Yes, he is. And we have to be faithful to yeah. him. Yeah. And our belief system is the main point. Mm -hmm. We gotta believe. Amen. Gotta believe. Yes. Amen. And that was my next one. Only believe. As he said to Martha, he says to all of us, if we will only believe, thou shalt see the glory of God manifested in our lives. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, will someone read 41 mm -hmm. and 42? I'm going pretty fast here. <laughs> 41. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. 
and I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Amen. 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 The prayer offered. Martha was apparently persuaded by Jesus' response that the stone, the stone had to be removed from the tomb for her to see the glory of God manifested. So the bystanders obeyed Jesus' direction and took it away. When he tells us to do something, we just do it. Mm -hmm. No questions asked, because you know he ain't going to steal you wrong. Amen. He going to make sure that you mm -hmm. covered, mm -hmm. so we make mm -hmm. sure that he's mm -hmm. covered. And we follow his instructions to the letter, to the T. No if, ands, and buts about it. Therefore, we know that we would be doing what he has us to do. That helps solidify in us the faith and belief that he wants us to have. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, God. The manifestation of God's glory will come through Jesus' power to raise Lazarus from the dead. But only by faith will Martha be able to see that glory. This is the key for us to see God's glory manifested in our midst. His power is always more than sufficient. But too often, our lack of faith keeps us from seeing it displayed. And that's it in a nutshell. In the statement. Yes, sir. This is an awesome lesson, but you said something, sister teacher, that really stuck in my mind. You said something to the fact of removing the stone. And how many times in our life do we have something blocking our view that we can't see God's glory? And when we remo when we remove that. And we're in that position to where we can't get no help, other help but from God that we know within ourselves yes, 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 that yes. it was God. Amen. Be it our health, mm -hmm. be it our finances, mm -hmm. be it our family, mm -hmm. God will show you, mm -hmm. oh no, it ain't you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. Mm -hmm. I can do it because I sit high and look low, mm -hmm. but let me remove this stone out your way. Now, when we all sit back and look over our lives and see where we're at now, yes. boy, we have some big stones in our way. Because mm -hmm. think about it. I'm just speaking on me right now. Mm -hmm. The little things in life mm -hmm. are so enjoyable and so precious. But back then, it was always about the big things. Mm -hmm. What an awesome God we serve. Right. What an awesome God. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Also, yeah. like Mother Dennis said last week, we take it to the altar, but we don't leave it. So that's yeah. still that stone that's blocking yes. Amen. what we need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we take it, we have to leave it. Yes. Amen. And those are the kind of things that happens in our lives that solidifies the fact you know it was God. Amen. You just it was no other way that it could have been accomplished other than God just did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because He's God and He loves us. I love this. This is a good lesson. Yes. Anyone else? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It is doubtful that anyone present, except perhaps Mary, whose thoughts were not told, expected Jesus to actually re restore Lazarus to life. And the next verse. Jesus prays to his father and he said, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Jesus therefore proceeded his miracle with a prayer to his father, not so much for his own sake as for that of the bystanders. He did not petition his father to raise Lazarus. He merely thanked him that he had already heard his petition because he knew what he had to do. So he prayed to his father. And his father told him, of course, 
I got you covered. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I got you covered. Yeah. So he went on. So he, his will was so unified with the Father that he, he already knew what the Father wanted him to do at the tomb. Jesus alluded to his unity with the Father when he said, And I knew thou hearest me always. But the reason for this prayer was for the benefit of the people standing by. Jesus desired that they believe that God sent him. Amen. He wanted everybody to know. Mm -hmm. I know who I am, but I need you to know who I am. Because mm -hmm. yes. when you come to me, then you'll know what you what you, what I expect of you. Because mm -hmm. you you see it now what I can do. Mm -hmm. So don't. Ch -ch don't fight me. <laughs> Don't fight me. Just open your heart and let me in. Yeah. Yes. Let me in. Yeah. For only I can do for you the things that you think is a problem, which to you it is, but to me it's not. Come on, teacher. Come on. So, let me in. Amen. 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 Now this one of my notes. Remember we also see that his disciples was in the crowd as well. Because see they had fought. Well why you want to go back there? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know he already did? And one of them say, well we'll go back and just go to sleep. <laughs> he say, I got to tell you, he's dead. Uh -huh. He's not just sleeping, he's dead. Uh -huh. And I need to be there in order to let the people see what our Father can do mm -hmm. through me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Through me. Yes. Not through you, but through me. Mm -hmm. So they went on, and he built their faith up too when he rolled away that yes, stone yes. and right. told the Nazareth to come forth. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, everybody say, oh, I see now. He got to be the Messiah, and that's in my notes. Amen. He gotta be the Messiah. Now let me read it. <laughs> okay. It was his usual practice to speak loudly. No, let's go up here. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with gray clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, Loose him and let him go. It was not his usual practice to speak loudly. In fact, he fulfilled as, he fulfilled as Isaiah prophesied, prophesied that he would not strive nor cry, neither shall any man hear his voice in the streets. You can see that in Matthew 12, 19. One of the few other times he cried in a loud voice was on the cross just before he yielded his spirit to the Father. You can see that in Luke 23, 46. We have reason to believe that that cry from the cross was a victorious shout. It is finished. Yeah. You can see that in John 1930. His cry at Lazarus' tomb also glorified a victory. A victory over death and the one who had the power over death, Satan. Hebrew 2, 14, 15. Verse 44. He that was dead came forth. Jesus' command brought an immediate response of amazement to everyone. Lazarus came out the grave. This was the third recorded time Jesus restored dead, the dead to life. In perfect, he came forth with his grave clothes on. The Jews did not embalm bodies as the Egyptians did, but they did wash and anoint the body and wrap it with strips of cloth. Yes. The face was wrapped with a separate cloth. 
Nazareth appeared at the entrance of the tomb, still bound by grave clothes. Now Jesus gave another command to have Lazarus loosened, meaning have his grave clothes removed. Think about it. If you in a straitjacket, it's not it's on there, but it's not tight, tight. Mm -hmm. But you still can't get out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when he commanded them to take the strips off of Lazarus' body, but what he was going to do? Otherwise, he would have been hot. So it gave him a chance to walk out. Yeah. Yeah. And let the people see him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they'll know it's not an apparition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's real. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's real. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thank yes. you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Jesus give another command. Oh, I read that. The mission accomplished, John tells the readers in the next verse 45, that many other people did indeed believe in Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm getting to my conclusion. Anybody have anything that they want to say? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. This is what uh, our minister said, so I'm, I'm giving credit to That the reason why when Jesus called Lazarus by his name, because if he would have just simply said, get up, yeah. more than Lazarus would have came for him. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's why he specifically said, Lazarus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's the only one I want up. The rest of y'all stay there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. That's a very good point. A very yeah. good point. Yeah. yeah. And I think the other, other thing that in this lesson, we realize that sleep, and death have a connection Come on. between the two. Sleeping is just a temporary state of death. Mm -hmm. And I think if we really focused on that, yeah. we'd be sitting up all night. <laughs> you call them one another, you sleep. <laughs> you know, it's just a real relationship. And that was the, the, the uh, little puzzlement there for a minute. You know, uh, Jesus waited until he was dead. So we could understand that death is, don't have no hold over us. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. One of these days we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get up. Yeah. Oh my God. Amen. Yes. Mm-hmm. And this now this is demons. Mm-hmm. From reading this mm -hmm. lesson and studying this lesson came into my mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what we do sometimes. Mm -hmm. We actually sleep and say, oh, he was dead and they brought him back. No, mm -hmm. he wasn't dead. Mm -mm. The, you were asleep. Mm -hmm. Because like I told him, honey, if you dead, I don't care what they stick in your body. I don't care what machine they put you on. <laughs> yeah, if you dead. You dead. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got that right, sister. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. and we quit to say, oh, he was dead or she was dead. They brought, no, they mm -hmm. were not dead to begin with. Mm -mm. They were simply asleep. Mm -hmm. And then when the when the Lord send that, mm -hmm. I don't care about that machine, baby. You finna get up out of here. Yeah, yes. absolutely. So I think it's our terminology and our understanding yeah. that the person was never dead to begin with. Yeah, they was only sleep. Only sleep. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's take care of that. Amen. 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 So it's a teacher. Yes, sir. Can I just be honest with you? Uh -huh. Before I came to Christ, I was like Lazarus. Bound in grave clothes, you know, the partying and all that. Yeah. And when he called me for him, mm -hmm. grave clothes had to come off. Yes. So this is a personal thing. Mm -hmm. Each and every last one of us got a testament. Mm -hmm. And each and every last one of us mm -hmm. got a story of what we were yeah. before we came to Christ. Yeah. And we all yeah. should be thankful yeah. that when he called Lazarus, that we answered. Because mm -hmm. like Mother Demon said, mm -hmm. he could have called, he had to be pacific. Because mm -hmm. the mother would have got up too. Yeah. So I'm going to just shut up and leave you alone. Yeah. Yeah. When we were dead in sin. Amen. Yeah. He brought, called us from death. Yes. Spiritually speaking. Spiritually. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. 
This I love this lesson. Mm, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Now I'm finna do my conclusion. Amen. And it's way too early. <laughs> Don't worry, mother take over. <laughs> way too early. We may, we may not know the reason for a specific incident in our lives, but we know for certain that God loves us and cares about every minute mm -hmm. detail of our lives. Mm -hmm. He does not allow things to happen to us randomly. He designed every day of our lives according to His sovereign will and for our greatest spiritual good. He has laid out his plan for each detail of our lives. It is our part to react to him with faith, love, and gratitude, no matter our situation, our circumstances. We are included in his vast eternal plan to show forth the glory of his grace and love. What an unspeakable privilege. Amen. 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 That concludes my lesson for today.